Hey, it's Philip with G6 Technology Services. In this video, we're just going to do a quick office and server room tour since a lot has changed since the last video, which was about a year ago. So this is the office area. We've got a TV, a laser printer down there, this desk. Then we have my desk back here, a little bit messy, some papers and things, some uh, cleaning products, some tools, storage cabinet, little couch area, heater, and then we'll walk across the hallway and we have the server room slash workshop. So this used to be a lot emptier than it is. We don't have the front shop anymore. So now we just have all the stuff that was in there just kind of crammed into this room. Some old laptops, uh, monitors, storage. This is the new workbench with our nice little shop light up there. All the uh, systems to uh, get ready for sale. Actually, a lot of those are already ready to go. And some other miscellaneous stuff. This room's a lot more uh, crowded now than it was before. Then we have the server room slash more storage. We've got all of the, uh, the vintage uh, Dell collection plus that one Apple. Storage cabinet, vacuum, uh, network and server rack, ladder, vacuum, air conditioner, more storage, network supplies. So going over these racks, we have plastic on top because the roof leaks. And actually there's another uh, video or two that I did about that where we lost some equipment because of water damage. So that's just there. It's not leaking in the winter so much. Uh, I think it was the AC condensation lines overflowing upstairs. But anyway, this rack is the uh, is going to be the server rack. It, right now, it's a, I just had this one at the beginning, so it's combined, and I've been migrating some stuff over. So the idea is the left rack will be network only, right rack will be servers only. So those two little black boxes are some little Dell mini PCs that are not doing anything. They're just sitting there. The uh, Dell Optiplex Micro on the right here is serving our uh, security camera monitor viewing system. I don't know if you saw in the other room, the camera's up on the screen. It's got uh, VLC playing those on here. Then the little box in between the Sophos and the Dell is a uh, HDMI over IP system. So we've actually got multiple locations with monitors that can view those cameras. Then we have uh, the Sophos firewall right there. That's an SG125 running Sophos UTM-9. Uh, we're in the middle of phasing that out and going to PFSense because Sophos is discontinuing UTM-9 and I don't like their new offering, the XG uh, next generation firewall. So I'm just not gonna use that. We're gonna go with PFSense since I have to learn something new anyway. Might as well go with that. Seems a lot more scalable and doesn't cost anything. Next, we have our little patch panel here. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess, I know. I've got, so like I said, plans to move a lot of this over to the other rack. We've got all these fiber patch cables running over there. We've got our keyboard and monitor for working on these systems that are in this rack. We've got some Dell servers. We have our uh, security camera NVR and two ESXi hosts. Um, we've got these X serves that don't do anything. They're just sitting there to take up space. And this Dell Precision down here, which is our uh, true NAS, which I would like to move on to uh, a rack mount server at some point. Then over in the other rack, we have two of these Sophos firewall boxes, which are just running Proxmox. They're not actually uh, firewalls anymore. And then all these switches are just sitting in there because I didn't have anywhere else to put them. They're not in use. This little laptop in case we need to manage anything, console into something. And then this is what's going to be the, the main, probably the only switch in here, honestly. Right now, the Cisco over here is like the core switch, I guess you'd say. It's directly connected to the firewall. But I'm going to get rid of that and implement this, which already is serving some functions. I've got all of our fiber on this switch and uh, it's got uplinks to these Proxmox boxes and then we've got I think a camera and then these other two wires right here 
are going to the back of one of my ESXi uh, servers uh, for the Proxmox, I mean for the uh, PFSense uh, VM. These are just two dedicated, I've got a LAN and a WAN dedicated uh, NIC on the uh, VMware server. And then also have my uh, fiber internet coming in and then the fiber internet going out to the Sophos box, um, all on its, its own VLAN so I can move it wherever I need to. We have five static IPs so I can have some on different devices. Uh, and then we have just some extra supplies, some SFPs, extra management card in that green bubble wrap back there uh, that goes to these HP Pro Curves. And then this other chassis down here, which is the same chassis management module, power supplies, it just has different interface modules in the front. It's mostly just one gigabit PoE modules with that 10 gig fiber uh, module there. Um, but. I don't need all that extra space and it uses up a lot of power so I'm just not running it right now but it's a backup so if anything happens to this other chassis I should be able to just pop over the management card and whatever other interfaces I need and uh, basically it's kind of spare parts I guess at this point um, anyway that is pretty much oh, just tripped over this box that is pretty much it um, I've got some plans to uh, upgrade some things I want to add another uh, VMware uh, ESXi server and move the uh, TrueNAS off that precision onto a, a Dell server if I can get my hands on an R730 for cheap otherwise probably an R720 um, those X serves again are not doing anything I don't have plans to do anything with them but they're just kind of sitting in there because I don't want to have to throw them out because they look cool but we tried running pretty much everything under the sun on them in terms of non Apple software like uh, ESXi will not run on there, Proxmox will not run on there. Um, I don't remember offhand, but we tried a bunch of other stuff and nothing would run on there. So the only thing actually we could get is this this upper XServe is newer than the other four, and we were actually able to get some like ancient version of Proxmox to run on that. But I would never use any of these for production. The only thing that it could be good for is if I wanted to set up like a vintage Apple Lab and just put like Snow Leopard or Lion server back on there, whatever whatever would have shipped with them, and just set up some of the services that come with that um, if we ever wanted to kind of play with that in the future. So I'm just saving them. It's not really hurting anything sitting there, so might as well. Oh, I forgot also under here, this is another VMware ESXi server and its battery backup. That was the very first one that I had back when everything was just in the other office. It was just sitting under my desk, and uh, I still just haven't moved anything off of it. So that new ESXi server that I want to get, I'm going to move everything off the uh, little Dell Optiplex onto the new ESXi box. Um, can't really think of anything else. I think that's it. I'll just go over some of the services, I guess, that are running. So we have uh, on our NVR, we've got Blue Iris. Um, the two ESXi machines. We have uh, free PBX for our phone system. I've got a couple of uh, CentOS machines that are doing uh, web applications, a reverse proxy gateway. Um, we've got uh, Active Directory, have two domain controllers, have a, a file server just for things that are deployed with group policy. It's not meant to store a lot of files, just some MSIs and some images, scripts that just needed a file server to run on. And it's also acting as a print server so I can deploy printers. Don't really need all that, only have like three computers down here, but it's just fun to, to do it, get some practice, some experience with it. Um, what else do we have? Uh, DNS running on the domain controllers, uh, DHCP on the firewall, which I don't know if I'm going to have PFSense do that or move to Windows DHCP as well. Probably have the firewall do it. Um, I've got my Unify controller as a Ubuntu VM on one of those ESXi machines. Uh, I've got Observium on one of them for network monitoring. I have printers and, and switches and other things like that um, set up in there to get stats and like low toner notifications and whatnot. Um, what else do we have? 
not sure. That's kind of all that's coming to mind. But anyway, just a quick look at our two network racks. I do plan on keeping the two racks. I probably could consolidate everything into one, but I've already got them and I don't really want to consolidate. So it's nicer just to have it separated, I think. I do want to grab one of these extra switches up here. Um, I don't know, probably one of these net gears. They have a 10 gig uplink, but all the uh, 24 access ports are all one gig. So I could grab one of those and put it backwards in this rack in the back over here and use that to connect all my management interfaces so that I can uh, consolidate some of the cabling that's gonna have to go across because I don't need to have dedicated cables into the core switch just for management cards. So that can all just share uh, one of those Netgear switches. And it's got a 10 gig uplink anyway, so it's got plenty of uh, throughput. Uh, oh, another upgrade that I wanna do, All everything right now is one gig. I don't have any 10 gig running, but this HP switch all of these uh, three banks right here are 10 gig ethernet. So I do wanna get our file server and all of the ESXi hosts on 10 gig because right now it's extremely slow trying to copy and back up anything over that one gig. Um, and I also would like to see if I can dedicate a 10 gig port on the uh, ESXi host for administrative operations. I don't know if that has to be the management interface uh, just for like file transfers and things so it's not tying up the NIC that's being used to actually serve services off the VMs, if that makes sense. So I think you can do that. I'm gonna have to do some more research on that. Uh, I think some of these ESXi machines actually have a 10 gig NIC in them already, but I do have a few extras if they don't. I know that that TrueNAS does not but I'm kind of holding off on doing that because I want to replace it um, with a, a Dell server with the R720 or R730. Um, I can see if I can get around to the back here. You can see what we've got going on. That's kind of a rat's nest, but I have all of our cables running through back here. Another vacuum, power outlets. There's all our extra fiber coming down out of the ceiling. See, uh, stretch over here. Back to this rack, these HP switches. So, and then we have our backup, uh, I'm sorry about my finger in front of the lens, backup air conditioner down here. It gets a little bit toasty in this room. Then, got, uh, I want just some extra laptops in here that people have dropped off. I don't know what to do with them. They're probably not really worth anything. Monitors for sale or for me to use. Some extra tools. This big uh, bin full of laptop hard drives in the back there. A couple of laser printers that still work. Nice uh, big extension cord. Other little tools and bits and pieces. This box has a bunch of stuff that was up on the shelves in the store that is all just brand new product that was out on the shelf. They all, except for those little uh, media converters I just threw in there. Some other little tools, network, punch down, strippers, and duct tape, you always gotta have that. And then over at the workbench, we have uh, an IP phone, our little HP, I love these little switches, by the way. I got these at uh, from a GovDeals auction, actually. I think they're they're eight port plus an SFP cage. So uh, they're just, they're really nice for little small setups in a remote location where you'd need a fiber uplink and you have eight gigabit PoE ports on it. Uh, I don't have, I used to have this in the front room, uh, the workshop area being fed with fiber but now it's just got a copper uplink just into the next room, so that's fine. Um, but we got the, uh, the phone plugged into that. We have our receiver for the IPTV, which for some reason is not working. I need to check that out. I might not have the VLANs mapped across properly since I moved this around. We have our Intel NUC. It's our workbench PC that's hooked up to this monitor. So if we need to do anything, look up anything on the internet or make a install flash drive for something, we've got that set up. Our anti-static mat. Um, we have our nice workshop lamp up here. Just a little LED bulb in there. Got that from Home Depot. 
not for this. I already had it and we just stuck it there because this ended up being kind of dark over here. So I might get a one of those like two, two to four foot bar LED light to hang up there. That might be better, but that one works fine for now. All these uh, PCs for sale, well, except for this old gateway. Uh, I think I'm just gonna make a quick video on that and throw it away. These HPs, I should probably just get rid of. They're not really worth a whole lot. They only have a, probably a dual core. It's old AMD Athlon with a Windows Vista sticker on it. They're very slow, not very pleasant to use. These Dells are not bad. Most of them have quad core, uh, either i5 or i7s. Um, I, I put SSDs in them. We repasted the CPUs, uh, upgraded the RAM. They all have eight gigs. I think. So those are all for sale. And then just extra little miscellaneous things. This precision down here I don't think works. And then we have these two CRT monitors that uh, we're in a miscellaneous electronics palette, which I have a video on that um, somewhere on my channel if you look for it. But I don't know. I just kind of wanted a couple of CRTs. I just, I didn't think to save any of them back in the day when we had them. Just upgraded to LCDs and then just was like oh these are old junk we'll throw them out and got rid of them but i wished i would have saved some i really want a dell crt but we just have a, a view sonic you can see the uh, little birds and a compact so i'll hang on to those probably they'll just sit under the bench here um let's see anything else we have this computer i'm going to do a video on i don't know where that came from i think a customer dropped it off to be recycled it has a handle so we'll do a video on that. Got some extra cable up there, some uh, coax and some Cat6. So anyway, I think that's it. Uh, appreciate you for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.